Donald Trump got booed yesterday, huh? Mm-hmm. I heard about it first thing this morning. He he bum rushed the Libertarian um, Convention, went to say a few words, and the Libertarians booed him. Here's the clip. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for President of the United States. Whoa. That's nice. That's nice. Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Thank you, D-Roy. Thank you. No, only do that if you want to win. If you want to lose, don't do that. Keep getting you 3% every four years. The reasons for doing so, policy and politics, are as solid as the Hope Diamond. So let me tell you what I saw. Let me tell you what I saw. I saw more than just them booing him. Okay. This is what I saw. I saw a desperate candidate running for president who bombarded another party's convention to beg the members of their party for their vote. They reject that by booing him, booing him so badly that he felt that and had to say, whoa. And so he then turns around and disrespects them and minimizes their vote by saying, basically tell them you're only 3% of the vote. <laughs> I hope the Libertarians picked up on that disrespect and how he minimized them after they booed him, after he was begging for their vote. Baby, you can't make this ish up. Now listen, they booed him. They booed him, but then they turned around and praised him when he promised this. And if you vote for me on day one, I will commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht to a sentence of time, sir. And just like that, he's A-OK. -okay. He just insulted them, and now they're cheering him because he made a promise. And if you vote who is Ross Ulbricht? Never heard of him before this whole situation went down. He is an American serving a life sentence for creating and operating the dark net market website, Silk Road, from 2011 to 2013. The site operated as a hidden service on the Tor network and facilitated the sale of narcotics, and other Ill illegal products and services. Ulbricht ran the site under the pseudonym Dead Pirate Roberts, which is after a fictional character from The Princess and the Bride. I couldn't find anywhere from a quick Google search what those other illegal services he was selling on that site. Yeah, but I, I did see that the money made was in the billions. How quickly libertarians can fold from a simple promise. And we know Donald Trump is a liar. We know he's made promises that he's never kept. He makes promises that he never intends to keep. He will say whatever needs to be said to get back into the White House. And they cheered that shit. Mm. November will soon be here. Vote blue.